This video is for the specific settings for cutting 16 gauge steel on the CNC plasma cutter. You have already created a 3D model of your part and have done some of the basic programming in the CAM workspace. What we need to do is go into our tool library and underneath your sample tools here's our default fusion 360 plasma cutter tool we need to make a copy of that and in your document up on the top paste because we want to take this point zero four and edit it right click edit and change the kerf width to zero point zero three seven this is the more accurate diameter of the kerf for cutting at 40 amps on the plasma cutter everything else so description 40 amps cutters fine holders fine feeds and speeds this is dependent on the thickness of the material that we're going to cut so we'll change that later post processor this is fine click OK so close your tool library go into your 2d cutting profile and select that new tool you can edit your original one select your new tool you might get a message that says do you want to update or override feeds just click no on that so now when you go back into your tool section in your 2d profile you'll have your 0 0.37 inch plasma cutting tool the cutting feed rate is going to be 150 inches a minute 120 is kind of like on the lower end on the slower end so you can go 120 if you got some really detailed parts and the machine doesn't want to move around that fast any faster than 150 you will possibly cause um, the material so it won't cut all the way through so don't go faster than 150 inches a minute Geometry, nothing to do in here, this top section, but we want to make sure our tab width is going to be 0.13. That's a good width of your tab, so you'll be able to easily break out your part from the stock. Heights, nothing on here needs to be changed. On the passes tab, change this cutting compensation type to in computer. It's most likely default to in control. We want it to be in computer. And the last tab, our lead-ins and lead-outs are going to be 90 degrees, lead-in distance, 0.1, and everything else should be fine. When you're post-processing, you're going to select Setup 1, hit Post-Process. You're going to select the Techno Plasma Post-Processor from your Cloud Posts. Give it a file name or number and also when we hit post we're going to save it into a desired spot either on the flash drive or the desktop and hit save when this brackets editor opens up there are some slight edits that we need to take and fix because there's something qu not quite right with our post processor that makes this g-code our F0, this is our feed rate for our lead in and lead out. That needs to be updated to 150. So where we see this F0, we need to make it F150 because for some reason the post processor is not updating our lead in and lead out feed rates. It does our cutting feed rate, so this is the feed rate for cutting out the circle. And there should be four of them because there's two lead ins and two lead outs one five zero file save now you'll have your g-code and that error message on the techno interface will not pop up that's it